right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, the one, the only, Nate Diaz making the walk yet again. It's been a long time, but Nate Diaz is back tonight. He has put in all the right work. You know, few guys in this division work harder than Nate Diaz. It's good to see him back in the And you notice it, John, right? The cardio. The cardio is one thing that stands out about Nate Diaz. He looks like he's just touching guys with all of his strikes, but the buildup from all the, the activity that he puts out usually will make his opponents wilt. And once he gets into the ground, he's a jujitsu black belt that can finish the fight with a number of submissions. And he'll hit you with the open hand, too. He'll invoke that Stockton slap. You think we see that Stockton tonight? Stockton slap, but it's just so disrespectful. What I love watching is so Nate Diaz. Got to get you a Lafayette slap or something. <laughs> Good to see Nate Diaz back here tonight, one of the biggest fan bases in the world, and they are all watching the pride of Stockton, California here tonight. as I am, as Conor McGregor returns to the proven ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. for this, our main event of the evening. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee Herb Ready Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. All right, here we go. Round one, Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. This is about as big a fight as we can put together. I mean, we have seen this on more than one occasion, and I gotta be honest, I am still as excited as the first time they set foot on the dais for a press conference. This is a big fight. It will always be a big fight. I can't wait to get started. Perhaps we get a little bit of a feeling out process here early. Oh. This is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Big head kick. And a miss with the right hook. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. 
the guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. So more output, at least in the early going. Well, Nate Diaz has certainly found the range here early, DC. This is a fight of close to my heart, close to my left forearm. 209 representing well here tonight. Oh, big knee there. Oh, that right hand barely missed it. What a kick. That one landed. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice block. Three minutes. Whiffs on that offering. So 31 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Oh, heavy kick to the body. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh! So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Diaz's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. Another one. He's hurt bad. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. McGregor's cut now above the eye, courtesy of that strike. We will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Oh, slick reversal right there. up now and now the damage is about to start looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up yes well you oh McGregor's nose is bleeding now looks to be cut perhaps they're on the bridge all right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Round two now is upon us. Conor Great McGregor fight. versus Great. Nate Diaz. Good. Oh, nice 
Nice job by Nate Diaz yet again to find a home for that left hand. Yeah, he finds that left hand, John, and as we have spoken to time and time again, it does not look like he's throwing it hard, but he's so accurate and is hitting so well behind that slap right hand that when he lands the left, he can hurt anybody. That is Nate Diaz when he's at his best. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Oh, big shot's getting through. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. And he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the season. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. McGregor gets back up. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. McGregor's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by McGregor. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the pace to his opponent. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. That shot blocked by Diaz. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. He's taking way too many shots to the head. He got him. Oh! Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. McGregor gets caught with that punch. So 89 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Well, still connecting on about four of every 10 attempts. 40% the accuracy right now against Conor McGregor. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Unable to connect this. Oh, he might be out. Oh, and now an uppercut. Oh, that's big. End of the clinch. Now let's see if they're gonna try to find a takedown or watch for him to employ a dirty boxing strategy. McGregor is making things really difficult for the opposition now as the fighter continues to target that damaged nose. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh. Oh, Superman punch. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John.
Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by TKO, Nick Diaz. All right, so a huge win for Nate Diaz. The celebration is on, of course, in Stockton, California, and beyond. And I know we all wish we would see Nate more often, but whenever he, sh whenever he shows up to fight, always able to do so at a high level. Nate Diaz has become a massive star in the UFC. He believes in himself, he trains extremely hard, and when he goes into the octagon, he always gives you 110%. Tonight, that was enough to get his hand raised.